does this not look like? This is like the most Genovese lunch ever. This looks so freaking good. Best pesto you've ever had? Have you tried my mom's though? Have you tried Julie's? <laughs> Sorry, Julie. <laughs> We are presently in Genova. Three, two, one. We are presently in Genova. Did I say Genova? Yes. <laughs> we are presently in Genova. Second, your adventure baby is teething on a GoPro, and the next second you look over, he's asleep. Sleep with GoPro in the end. So technically, it is Genoa in English, yeah. but in Italian they say Genova, and they put a V. And you know what? We're authentic. We stick to the authenticity of the local places we visit. So for the rest of this video, it's going to be Genova. I have to say, okay, when Greg was the one who picked out the itinerary for all this, and he was like, yeah, we're going to, uh, well, I guess you said Genoa at the time. Yeah. Um, but you're like, oh, you're going to Genoa. And I was like, I knew the name. And I'm like, I know the name from history. It was some sort of important, like, city at some point in time. But I literally, I, I just, my expectations were not very high. I had no idea what to expect. I was like, yeah, and like before we travel places, I love to really look into what there is to do there. Hi. What there is to do, what the best things are, and really plan out detailed itineraries, right? But with uh, with Genova, I, I figured, no, I'm going to let the city surprise me. We're going to get there, and we're just going to see what there is. It was so epic. I remember I was there, and um, when I was thinking about doing videos, I was like, oh, I'll just, like, throw in Genova with another city, right? I'm like, there's not going to be enough content for its own thing. I was wrong. Uh, the first day when I was walking through the city, it's just, like, it's so epic because I did not feel like I was in Italy. Or... It felt like Northern Africa. Yeah, it felt, it felt like... like... Tunisia or Morocco like in uh, you know we just wrote our America's travel guide and when I was writing about that it really brought back the memories of the tight little narrow streets walking through the markets and that's what Genova felt like or like Jerusalem I felt like Jesus could have like walked down any alleyway and like Roman soldiers could have come too it was just it was it was crazy to see that so after that first day I was like this deserves an entire video I don't know if you've ever heard In of it. In case you've never heard of it, pesto is from Genova. Who would we have had thought? no idea. We we had no idea. Mind blown, right? Like we normally like we know these things. Oh, pizza is from Naples, you know, ragu is from Bologna, but we had no idea. I didn't even realize pesto is an Italian food. That's how dumb <laughs> I am. Uh, I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> so like that was that was completely mind blowing. And if you want to get the best pesto of your life, you need to go to Pesto Bene, uh, located maybe four blocks off of the old port uh, in Genoa. And it is, it's amazing. Homemade pesto. Their big thing is they grind it by hand. You can see it there. We're going to be getting one of these focaccias with pesto on it. That looks so good. And then these are the ingredients that are in it. There's some Parmesan pine nuts. Olive oil, cheese, garlic, salt, and then basil. I stumbled upon these literally, it's a cone of calamari. They also have some other things too. They have some like mixed fish, uh, like some shrimp, 
And they also have some anchovies as well, which we're not the biggest fan of, but this looks so freaking good. does not look like. This is like the most Genovese lunch ever. This looks so freaking good. Best pesto you've ever had? Have you tried my mom's though? <laughs> Sorry, Julie. <laughs> wow. The flavor like works to your mouth. It's explosive. Mmm. Happy we got three. Yeah, I know. When I saw them, I'm like, they're really little. I'm like, I bet we're gonna want more. And that line was long. Yep, so the name of this technically uh, is a fiesta. It's the name of like a snack in Genoa. So when you get a focaccia, like an empty focaccia, and you fill it with a Genovese pesto, it's called a fiesta. A fiesta? I didn't know that. It's so cool. Yeah. Our little fiesta. You can try some of the calamari. I would love to. Calamari in a cone. How if we like never run across anywhere that has this? This is so it's cool. So fresh. We also discovered though, um, we had never seen this before. They're like these little coffee desserts. It's called cafe con pana. So technically, cafe con pana is just like an espresso with whipped cream. That's a normal thing. You can find that all over the place. But in Genova, yeah. they had these deluxe. Cafe Compana that were like, they would have a theme. I had one that was mini cannoli themed. We've been to a lot of areas in Italy and we've never really seen this before. And they're really cool. Greg got a cannoli one and then I got, it's mainly just chocolate, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have something that I want to show you that I found. It's nothing that exciting. It's more just funny and weird. Okay. Okay. Um, while I was out and about walking, I normally would not buy this because I'm like, I can do it myself. However, this was so intriguing. <laughs> Baby cheese? Cheese flavored baby food. I don't know, I guess it's made with real cheese. But wait, that's not the worst one yet. Are you ready? <laughs> At least there's and potatoes. <laughs> oh. Fish. It's a fish baby. This is, does not exist in the U.S. Maybe there's some kind of a cheese thing. I, I've never seen a cheese thing in the U.S. for baby food. Like, uh, it's always like peas and carrots and whatnot. Yeah. But fish, so I'm like, we have to get it. And if we're not gonna feed it to him, we have to at least try it ourselves. Made with organic fresh cheese. Got you. What is that? Are those fishy? Are you're, those fishy? you're gonna like the fishy. The best. It smells fishy, but like not as bad as you would think. It is mixed with potato. So I'm trying first. If you want. Ugh. It's like Ugh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it just kind of tastes like that taste. Nice. Okay, buddy. You want some fish? <gasps> yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Piscatarian boy.
<laughs> so some of the best things to do in Genova. One, go to the Basilica of San Lorenzo. Hi, little guy. You ready for mass? <laughs> you ready for Italian mass? I know, you're always ready for mass. Uh, this cathedral is located right in the middle of the city. It's the main cathedral of Genova. And off to the side, there is a beautiful museum that is filled with literal <laughs> treasures. It's called the Treasure Museum. Uh, you wouldn't even know it existed. You can't find details about it anywhere. It's open pretty odd hours. I think it opens at like 3 p.m. Or like yeah, 1 p.m. Some and weird. And then they open it up. We tried going like two different times and it was closed. And so finally on the third day, we literally like, we planned our day around that museum opening. So like definitely go to the Basilica, see if you can find details about when it's open, like ask someone working there. But there are some crazy treasures inside of this museum. There was a relic of the Virgin Mary's hair. Uh, there was a piece of the cross that Jesus was crucified on. And I think the coolest, most unique one is they have the platter that John the Baptist's head was served to the king on. Like, just sitting in the middle of this room, off to the side. So definitely check that out. That's called the, the Treasure Museum and the Basilica of San Lorenzo. Number two. two, the Royal Palace Museum. The Royal Palace Museum is located on the historic Via Balbi. And there are a bunch of rooms that are still kept just as if the king were still living there and the royal family were still living there. There's a beautiful terrace with epic views of the city and the port. Uh, and there's also some great art. So just definitely worth checking out. Um, On the topic of palaces, uh, do you want to go for number three? Um, Garibaldi? Yeah. Uh, number three, the palaces on Via Garibaldi. The Via Garibaldi back in the day was like the main hotspot for all the noble families. So it's this tight little street that on either side was just lined with palaces. There's a cool stretch of three palaces right next to each other that you can visit on one combined ticket. They're the Palazzo Rosso, Palazzo Bianco, and Palazzo Torsi. What do you say about that, buddy? What do you say about that towards the camera? <laughs> <laughs> thing ever. Number four. Visit the childhood home of Christopher Columbus. Spoiler alert. It's a little bit underwhelming, so it's not like, don't completely plan your whole day around this place. Uh, but it, it's pretty neat to just go in and see how tiny homes were back in the 1400s. Yeah, so like, again, we didn't realize Christopher Columbus is from Genova. Like, that's another thing that just didn't cross our minds. The city's famous for so many things and people, and like, we just don't realize that these famous things actually came from this city. Uh, so yeah, like Angel said, the house is pretty underwhelming, but I guess to be fair, that's because they were a poor merchant family. Number five is going to be the aquarium. So fun fact, uh, Genoa has the biggest aquarium in all of Europe. Uh, we had no idea, but I guess it makes sense because uh, Genoa is Italy's most important port city, uh, going all the way back hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, if you're from Naples, don't at me. Um, but super important port city uh, for all of time. 
and I guess, you know, they have a lot of marine life there, so I guess it makes sense to have a nice aquarium. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Genova was really, really cool. Uh, if you go there, try pesto, try cafe Campana, and do those, those five things yeah. that, that we just mentioned. If you're interested in more information about traveling to Genoa, like what airport to fly into or how to get around the city, uh, other things like that, be sure to check out our Genoa travel guide, which is linked below. Uh, that has pretty much every piece of information you can need, including how to get from the, the airport to the city, which is super duper complicated. <laughs> yeah, so you might want to read that. <laughs> but until then, uh, have a wonderful day and stay, stay present. present.